My name is uh, Janan Tan. Uh, yes, I'm a full arch implant surgeon. I do that all day. I uh, don't know more general dentistry, and I am also the head of surgery at Ascend Dental. Uh, we've got uh, 12 clinics across Melbourne. It's so funny. I remember our first event, you had the 10 clinics and then the next event, you've got 12. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it keeps going up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to change those slides. It keeps going up. <laughs> so basically what we want to go through is before, during and after of, of this journey of becoming a speaker. So could you tell us what you were doing in terms of marketing and how you were getting full arch patients before uh, being a guest speaker? Uh, marketing wise, we were doing a little bit on Facebook, uh, a little bit of SEO. We we're also using another company that charges for leads that showed up, you know, that were supposedly pre-converted. So yeah, a few different uh, avenues and uh, you know, they, they were fairly effective, but I found that you know, this is by far the most uh, convenient, I think, uh, you know, solution. <laughs> That's awesome. And one of the things that stood out to me as well is that you were getting a lot through referrals and that was really, really interesting to to know just how many referrals you had coming in as well outside of the paid advertising sort of side of things. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess with, our, with the size of our network, because we do have 12 clinics across Melbourne, that, that really does help. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, if each one having their own marketing strategies and, and so on. And at the moment, I'm one of the, the, the few, there's only two or three of us in the whole group who, who do, you know, uh, all the next. So, yeah, we, we do get a fair bit of internal referral, which is great for us. But we are getting to a point where we have the capacity to do so much more than we are doing so i found it very convenient and, and easy to work with with you know lizzie and, and, and stay from new teeth to uh, you know to, to boost my my you know my patient base awesome so what was it that attracted you to working with us and being a guest speaker at one of the events uh, I guess I, I always felt that, you know, giving out an uh, information evening or information session was an effective way of, uh, of winning patients across because, you know, you, you, you give up a lot of information in your time, but, you know, you do tend to get um, a lot back in return. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it saves me having to repeat that conversation with, you know, every single patient who walks through the door. Mm -hmm. Someone who's already watched the seminar has all the information, mm -hmm. so they're not going to ask me the same questions over and over again. So mm -hmm. it's it's convenient. It's it's you know, and I I, th I feel it's a way of weeding out a few of the time wasters as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because someone's going to sit through an hour of me droning on about implants, they're probably serious about it. <laughs> yeah, and and that's what we love is that. At the end of the day, there are lots of people out there who want genuine help and there are a lot of difficult people. We actually, <laughs> we ban a few people who are quite abusive. Like people can get abusive, they can get aggressive and to have that sort of behaviour directed at your team on the phone or messaging you is really disruptive to your day-to-day. -day. And so I've found that has been really positive for uh, a lot of our speakers is just being able to go through that process and the people that really want help are able to get it and they're able to come through in a really informed way, which has been awesome. So how did you find your experience of coming on board, particularly your first event of, of onboarding and kind of preparing you for that event? No, things went nice and smoothly. You mean we? I got the slide deck way ahead of time. I got a chance to alter it, add stuff to it as I felt you know was necessary. I got to put some of my own before and after photos up too, which was really good. We had a full run through a, a week or so before to make sure the technology worked, and also the run through was good because I could get feedback on on how I was presenting, but also it gave me a, a dry run to actually do the whole presentation start to finish. And so that was really useful. And then, uh, yeah, on presentation day itself, we, we started the half an hour earlier, make sure that everything was running well, calm your nerves, have a, a drink of water, you know, and, and just ease into it. But, you know, I've, I've, this, I've, I've done three so far and you start doing it like it's you know routine now. So, yeah, it, 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 yeah I'm quite relaxed now. When I do it. Were you feeling nervous about the first event? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I've, I've, I've always, you know, didn't mind talking and, and teaching because I, I do a bit of teaching for our own associates, you know, and, and, and public speaking and stuff. So, but I just wanted to make sure that I was providing the right information at the right tone and, and at the right, you know, in the right way. And the slide deck that had been pre-made really helps because it saves me having to make one. And once you get, once you learn the flow, it, it actually flows quite nicely. Yeah, that's awesome. So then I'd like to discuss what your experience has been post-event. So with these consults that are coming through, what have they been like? 
Uh, that's a very, very good. Most of them show up. Obviously, you, you get some people who don't, and, and that's just people in general, especially when you're offering free consults. We've offered free consults for other campaigns in the past for other things and so on. So you always expect a, a small portion of them not to show up. So I wouldn't say it's any higher than usual. Most of them actually are, are very good. And, and we had some who couldn't make it and then they, they call us beforehand and, and they reschedule it. So, you know, the, the patients tend to be quite responsible. And quality-wise, they're good because they've already listened to all the information. They're already educated. So you don't spend that much time having to go through all that. It's pretty much saying hi and going, well, so you after this... And then give them a quick reminder. But most of them are like, yeah, yeah, I know all that. Let's how can we get started? Let's, let's just let's do it. Or oh, I need my super out. That's the first thing, you know. Let, let's let's do that, you know. Yeah. So and yeah, it's efficient. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing that I've loved hearing from people is that the way it changes the conversation, that they're able to really focus on that patient and how that patient needs help and and what you know because we've we've shared those different options they're kind of able to say oh this is this is what i'm looking at and what i'm interested in and then you're able to have that discussion around you know are they clinically suitable for what it is that they want and all of those things but yeah i i I love to hear it i do i love to hear it because a huge part of what we're trying to do is create the positive relationship create that trust create that just the, the conversation to start before they've even walked through the door so It's really exciting to hear. So how do you think, or let's rephrase that. So if you were to think, you know, six months, 12 months down the track, how do you see it impacting your practice and will you keep doing it? (laughs) What's your experience been so far? I think it it, it can only do good. grow the external patients that come in that really supplements our internal referrals as we start to train up more tenants within our group to do all the next uh, you know our capacity will definitely improve so uh, you know for us it's, it's about the the ability to do more so and we want to do more so uh, it certainly helps with you know with our patient flow and yeah i think look a, a monthly or once every two months you know really allows us to, to keep maintaining that flow yeah. so that's where we see ourselves going you know in, in the future just just to run one every month or two just to keep keep the patient's flow coming coming in. That's awesome. I'll just check my list of questions, make sure I haven't missed anything. <laughs> oh, this is actually an interesting one. So what would you say to another dentist who is thinking about being a guest speaker with us? Well, I guess no harm giving it a go. <laughs> you spend an hour of your time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess, you know, you, you just, you, you just got to get you know, give it a go and then and see how you go. But the best thing is because there's no setup fee, there's no fee, upfront fee to, you know, to actually give the speech and, and, and run the program. It, it's kind of, a, you know, a very minimal risk, you know, and I'd say give it a shot. It's, it's an hour of your time. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I think that is everything. Let me just double check. All right, yeah, so... That's everything. So thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Is there anything else that you think that I've missed that might be valuable for people that are considering it? That's pretty much it, I suppose. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Amazing. 